and that's reserved for kind of the elite of former players to go in and talk to the extreme campers. Yeah, it was fun, you know. I mean, kind of a little bit out of my element, you know, and you kind of got to be careful what you say, but it's fun. You know, those guys, they get a kind of a unique perspective on what we do and kind of what we go through, especially in camp, you know, with, with everything that goes on. Um, so it was fun. It was fun to kind of give them a little bit of insight, kind of tell some stories, make them laugh a little bit. But, um, you know, I don't get a chance to do that very often. So when I do, it's I, I truly enjoy it. You've got a lot of uh, – I mean, you've had a lot of great things happen to you, from being drafted out of high school by the Yankees to, you know, and being involved in, you know, professional baseball, coming here, your memories here, and then, of course, playing in the National Football League. Where do the memories at OSU stack in, in all those? By definitely at the top. I mean, without a doubt. I mean, number one, I, I think running away. You know, my time here, even when I wasn't playing, I mean, the, the some of the times and memories and stories, I mean, we had some of the best times. You know, and then, in my opinion, two of the better years Oklahoma State's ever had. You know, I mean, like you said, every week was kind of a storybook ending. I mean, it was just uh, one week after another. We just kind of kept, kept getting it done. And, um, I mean, vivid. I mean, very vivid. I mean, every game I could, I could tell you a handful of plays that – you know, happen. This was you know eight or nine years ago. So, it's um, yeah. I mean, this my time here was special. I mean, um, I'll always look back at the memory, especially like I said, 2010, 2011, and and cherish them for one. But uh, you know, uh, if I could bottle it all up and go do it all over again, I'd do it right now. You got Mel. You got two kids. I know you want to enjoy being a, a father, husband, <coughs> family man. But I'll, I'll beg on the question that was asked in there. What what are you looking to do next? Yeah, you know, I mean, it's easier said than done. I mean, I, you know, I would love to stay around sports. I mean, I think um, given the right opportunity, I think I'd love to get into broadcasting and, and do some color stuff. I think, one, I'd be a good fit at it. I think I got, you know, obviously a perspective from a quarterback that, um, you know, you're able to, to teach the game per se and you're still able to, to go watch ball and explain it and, and the whole deal. And I think I got a, you know, a decent, decent way of doing that. Um, so I'm going to start there, see, do some broadcasting, you know, looking to doing some media type stuff. And then uh, if that doesn't work out, um, I've had a couple of companies reach out, you know, as far as, you know, real world stuff and, and uh, kind of go from there. But um, I don't know, I'd love, love to stay around the game if I could. You know, it's just, uh, you know, find the right opportunity.